Hi, this is Roisin from Sweet Eve Designs and today I'm bringing you part one of this design tutorial for this Princess Mira cake topper. For part two, make sure that you subscribe for notifications and just give me a little like, it will really help me out. First, we're going to start with getting up our hand mirror image. The information will be in the description box. First, we need to start by ungrouping the images so that we can work with the middle center, which is going to be our mirror. So we're going to turn that to gray to represent our mirror and we're gonna make it slightly bigger just so that it can sit behind and be stuck to the front of the mirror frame. Center the back and group. Now make your mirror quite a lot bigger and we're going to apply an offset. I did 0.13, but you may need to mess around with it. The reason I'll make it bigger is because you'll get a more intricate offset. I'll change the colour and then I'll repeat the same offset size again and change the colour of that. I will then resize it and group this mirror together. I'm going to duplicate the back and centre the back, align centre and group. Now we're going to pull up the crown image. Again, the information will be found in the description box. We're going to change the colour of this to match the colour of our cake topper and then I'm going to unlock this and resize. So in this instance, I'm making it higher and I'm making the width slightly smaller. So I'm just adjusting it to sit where I want it to. So there's no right or wrong way for this. It's just kind of wherever you think that the crown looks best. Now we're going to get up our scepter. You can find the information in the description box again. So I'm going to make it a lot bigger because I'm going to be making an offset. Um, I'm going to use 0.13 and I'm going to change that to white. Um, and then I'm just going to repeat the same offset again. So there'll be two offsets and I'm going to change the colour. I'm just going to resize um, and I'm going to duplicate the back. Send it to the back, align, centre and group. And I'm just going to resize this to make this more in proportion with the mirror. So now we're going to grab our princess image and you know where you can find all the details. And isn't she just gorgeous? I really love this image. I, I use the right hand panel and I click on the different layers and change the colours to the colours that I want for my princess. So I want her to have brown hair and more olive skin. And I also change the colour of her clothes. I duplicate the back layer and I send it to the back, align, centre and group. Now I'm just going to resize my princess roughly so that she's more in proportion with the mirror. Now let's grab the banner and we're going to bring that into design space. And this is a pretty straightforward one. We're just going to change the colour again using the right hand panel. And then we're going to duplicate the back layer of the banner and the same as the others. We're going to send that to the back, align, centre and group. Now we're going to grab the castle image. And this is where I'm going to use some of the new functions in the combine section. So we need to ungroup and we're going to delete the tea party because we don't need that. I'm just going to move this out of the way so that I've got a bit more space. And then I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And then I'm going to go down to the combine panel and I'm going to use intersect, which will basically take out the, the outer part of the top layer. And um, then I'm going to have two different layers. So I'm going to change the colors and then I'm going to bring them together and I'm going to group them together. I'm going to make them slightly bigger so that I can apply my offset. Again, I use roughly 0.13 and I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm just going to resize and pull it down roughly where I want it to be. Now, the word princess is actually an image. So you will use the information in the description box to get this image. And I'm just going to hide everything else um, so that I can work on my text and I'm going to make the princess really big. Um, this is just again to do with the intricate offset. I'm going to apply an offset. I did 0.15 on this but to be honest offsets really are a bit of hit and miss so you're just going to have to mess around with it. I did that another three times changing the colour so in total you should have five layers. Then I'm going to align the centre and group and then resize them just to make them slightly smaller. Then I'm going to go into the text and I'm going to find a text font called Aldine. And then I'm going to type out the name of my little princess. Her name is Anea. And I'm going to ungroup these letters and I'm going to move them slightly closer together manually. When I'm going to align at the bottom, 
change the color and group and then I'm going to repeat the process I did before so I'm going to do four offsets on the back uh, change the colors align center and group and then I'm going to bring these two uh, texts together and work out how I want them to sit so I decided to actually uh, put the Anaya slightly on top of the princess and then I did it centered horizontally and grouped them together But I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to unite The back layer which is the same as weld, but you can just undo I'm going to center the back um, I'm going to align center and group Then I'm going to unhide all of the other images and this is where I'm going to start positioning everything So I'm just looking at the sides in here of all of my different elements and working out where I want them to sit. Um, I, there was an issue there with my intersect, it disappeared and then the main image on the front came back. So I'm just moving things around here. Again, there's no right or wrong way of doing it. Uh, I was just trying to work out what I thought looked best. One thing that I did forget to say, however, is that you do need to do an offset on the banner. Um, and because this is quite small and I'm not enlarging it, I ended up doing an offset of 0 0.1 which seemed to work um, and I changed the colour to white. Then I actually take the white part of the castle and the white part of the banner and weld them together or unite whichever one you want to use. Then I duplicated the backing of the text. The reason being is that I'm going to use that as a guide as to where I want to have my text welded in. So then once I decided, I then welded that into the backing, which is the banner and the castle. And then I just proceeded to move all of my different elements into the right position. So at the back will be the castle, then you'll have the princess, then the banner, and then you'll have your text. And I grouped that all together. So now that we have our main images together, we're just going to work on resizing and rotating our mirror and our scepter. You should have a little bit of the mirror sticking out of the bottom, but not too much. And then once you're happy, you can group that together. I completely forgot to put my age on it. So uh, I would just use the same font as I did for the name. And then I would do a few offsets. Align, center and group and then I would make this smaller and just position it on the crown roughly where I want it to be. And then finally group everything together. And now that I've got my main uh, topper done, I'm gonna duplicate that and unite. This is gonna be our backing. So I'm gonna duplicate that again one more time. So we'll have that twice. And I'm gonna group and center the back. Now I'm going to make this a lot bigger so that I can do an offset around the whole of the top R, which I did at 0 0.15. And then I went ahead and I changed the colour and I duplicated that layer again. That's going to allow us to cover our stick. And normally I wouldn't have two layers on the front, but we are going to put the tool in between. So you'll see in the assembly video. Then I just resize, but what you need to be mindful of is that if you are using tool, you're probably going to have one inch on either side. So just bear that in mind when you're doing the final sizing of your cake topper. And that's your Princess Mirror cake topper tutorial done. And if you really enjoyed this, please can you make sure you give me a like, you leave a comment and you subscribe. All of these things really help my channel to grow. And please come over to my Instagram, Pinterest and my TikTok for different types of content, including quick tips and tutorials. And if you love making really pretty things, I suggest you watch this video on this Mermaid 3D letter. You can apply it to cake toppers too. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to add some comments if you have any specific requests.